Hi, I'm Marna. This is the Dolls Rescue Channel, and it's overcast, so I hope this comes up on the camera as well as it should. I don't like lights. It washes me out and makes me look. My camera, my uh, cameraman hates it because he bought all these nice lights. I'm like, I look awful. Anyway, Christmas is so close. So I made Fritz. I was going to do a, like a Santa coat and decided, no, he could wear <laughs> I took this purple to make him a mock-up coat and it worked out so well. I, I looked at, put it on him and I looked at it and I thought, oh my God, he needs gold chains. He needs a couple of Barbies and scantily, dr scantily dressed Barbies standing on either side. I just, I love my BJD that Darren made. I just, look at these eyes. <laughs> They go up, they go down, they go crazy. I love it. Um, so Fritz was alone. We have a pond out back. And one thing I really like about spring is the first sign of spring, we're in mid-Missouri, USA. And that's like right in the middle of the lower 48. One thing I love about spring in Missouri and our pond is that peepers, which are baby frogs, are the first sign of spring you get. You hear them in the evenings and the early morning. You hear the peepers singing. Well, Fritz was alone because all of the frogs are now hibernating. So I thought I'd make a Christmas. Uh, Fritz is sharing the hat with this frog. I was gonna name him uh, Fagin, but I think I'm gonna wait and use it on another. I had this idea to make a Christmas frog. I used to make my kids stuffed animals. So I bought this pattern. It, you know, I'm looking at it. I sew, I used to sew um, stuffed animals all the time. And I thought, oh, that'll be quick and easy. No. People today are hired because they have a college education, not because they know anything about patterns or sewing or anything else. There was some cussing that went on making this because it did not, and I did it per the pattern, um, but it did not come out. If you buy this pattern and you make this frog, uh, you're gonna need to dart the back and a couple other things because it does not come out right, but I still think it's cute. Now I overstuffed my, look what I did. I um, was so careful Three times I checked to make sure that the Christmas trees were in the correct uh, um, direction. And I got to the sewing machine and I thought, oh, son of a... <laughs> I had put this on the fabric. And you know how I hate to waste fabric. <laughs> and I had it so that this side was at the edge. And at the last minute not thinking, hurrying around, I turned it so that, <laughs> so I wouldn't waste fabric. It wasn't that much to waste, but ah, that's what I did. His stomach turned out, his little rear turned out, but I did overstuff him. He's supposed to sit like this. Reverse his legs, you got his knees bent the wrong direction. Oh, do I? Okay, yeah, okay. Like this. And he hops away. We did this last night, and he went, whoop. <laughs> See if I can get him to do it. Maybe I had his legs backwards. Anyway, I, I overstuffed it, and I like it that way. I really do. I, I think he's cute. Um, had fun with him, and I did the little eyes. I actually bought this to make another frog, um, but... I thought, you know, it's Christmas and I need some sparkle on this frog because by the time I got it stuffed and hand sewn, oh, I was a little aggravated. I do want to show you Fritz's um, cover arc overalls that I had made him. The plan was when I started this, I was going to make him... I love those suits that fun people wear where it's all cut out of Christmas print the pants, the suit coat, the tie. Those are fun people. I like loud people that get excited and clap and, and uh, whoop and holler and stuff when you go to events and circuses and what have you. Um, and those people in those suits, those are, those are fun people. Anyway, I made him these little, 
little uh, overalls and I was going to make him the suit coat, but when I got the purple done, it's like, oh no, no, he likes that purple. We're going to keep it. So I took an 18 inch doll pattern and kind of just made it a little different. I knew I would need bigger uh, pants so that his big feet could get through. And then I kind of doubled it up a little bit in the back. Let me show you. And I used a big snap. Um, see, I took it in further. And then I snapped his um, straps so that to get it off and on him. I, I think he's cute. He's just whimsical. You know I love the Blythe dolls because they are so whimsical and I like to do things that are different. And I thought Christmas frogs, that's different. Thank you for watching the Dolls Rescue channel. I hope you are having a wonderful Christmas time. I really mean it. Turn your feet around. There you go. <laughs> I hope you are having a wonderful Christmas time. Thank you for watching the Dolls Rescue channel, not only today, but all year. Darren and I were overwhelmed with the kindness from this community, and it just, it's fun for us. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.